Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about fractions like what are proper, improper and mixed fractions. Suppose there are four friends and they have five cakes. How do they share the cakes equally? First, each of them will take one one cake each. But still, one cake remains. How to share it equally amongst four? Well, they can divide the cake into four pieces and each friend can take one piece. So, each piece is one out of the four equal pieces that is one fourth part of a cake. So, how were the five cakes shared equally by the four friends? Each one of them got one whole cake and one fourth part of the fifth cake. Let us assume each whole cake was also cut into four equal parts. We can say each cake is made up of four one fourth parts. Correct? So, one cake means four times fourths. So, each friend has four plus one that is five fourths. See, five multiplied by one fourth is equal to five fourths. Look, here in the case of five by four, the numerator which is five is greater than the denominator which is 4 but still it is a fraction so it is called improper fraction now you may ask then what are proper fractions in proper fractions the numerator is always smaller than the denominator as proper fraction is always smaller than a whole object like in the case of one fourth or one by four, one is the numerator and four is the denominator and the numerator is less than the denominator. Obviously, one is less than four. Also in three by six and one by two, the numerator is less than the denominator. So all the fractions here 1 by 4, 3 by 6 and 1 by 2 are proper fractions. Understood? Now when we talked of 5 by 4 parts of cake then it is actually 1 cake plus 1 fourth part of the whole cake. We can write it like 1 1 fourth. It is called mixed fraction as it has a whole number part which is 1 here and a fraction part which is 1 by 4 here. Basically it is a mix of both whole number and fraction. Hence the name mixed fraction. So a whole number and a fraction can be expressed together as a mixed fraction. For example, five oranges and a half of an orange is equal to five one by two oranges. Understood? Also, if we have two cakes and leftover two third part of another cake, then how do we represent the total number of cakes as a mixed fraction? Two whole cakes and two third of a cake. So it is two two third. Understood? That's all for now. Bye bye children.